good morning to you, and it is the city of Bangla this morning. We're going to talk more about this and these very talented dancers and children in just a moment. Absolutely, the city of Bangla is happening now through June 8th, and Suki, we are seeing some fabulous performers. Tell us a little bit about who we're seeing perform right now. Right now, we have a dancer from the Shawnee Punjab Arts Club. These are boys dancers, and as you can see, their costumes are lovely, and you'll see more of them at the City of Bangla Festival. Excellent, so tell us a bit about what we can expect from the festival this year. There's a lot happening. The festival taking place from now until June 8th in the cities of Surrey and Vancouver. We have multiple events and the best thing is that we have 20 hours of free programming. That's fantastic. So uh, right now we're seeing obviously the, uh, the ch I, want, I want to call them students or children, but really they're dancers and artists themselves. It is a happy festival, isn't it? It is. Bangla is a form of Punjabi folk music and dance and it's all about celebration. It's all about performing to the beat of the music and it's something that everyone can do. Everybody. So you're saying I could probably get a little lesson later, you think? You definitely can. I mean, these guys are obviously professionals, but a lot of us, like <laughs> myself, we dance socially. Well, I tell you what, if you want to check out the City of Bangra Festival happening now through June 8th, various locations, just go to their website for more details. But Jody and Ria, as they say anybody can learn, I don't know, maybe I might have to learn at least one move. She says I can. <laughs> I think you can hold the move. we got to get Donna an outfit, too. I love the colors. So once again, Jody and Riaz, I'm out here in Surrey where we are prepping for the city of Bangra. Coming up in about seven minutes, we're going to see the girls dance. Stay with us. Thank you very much. Yeah, here at the Shani Punjab uh, Arts Centre. And yes, the girls are now dancing a little Bangra. And Jasmine, uh, let's talk a little bit about... The fact that girls are dancing the same kind of dance as boys. Back when your mom and your grandma would have been dancing, you didn't dance bonger, did you? No, we didn't. It was more of a boys thing, and they did it, and girls were not allowed to do it back then. Yeah, and uh, it was it was just because girls weren't supposed to dance. Right, but this yeah. is obviously now uh, very modern here, and people in India can still dance yes, bonger, the girls, right? Let's talk a little bit about what you're wearing. What kinds of outfits do you wear for this? Uh, we Girls wear different outfits than boys. Uh, girls wear turniya, and these are Indian necklaces. Uh, this is a tabit, and this is a kenta. Okay. And this is a jacket, and then this is a kameej, and we wear the salwar. Yeah. Beautiful. And so this is, again, we were talking about this earlier, a very, very happy dance. Now, since we're getting the girls to dance, I thought maybe it might be nice if you taught me a little something. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. So we'll get Rob to come over here. And I know Suki said anybody <laughs> can learn. And by the way, if you want to learn how to dance Bhangra, they do teach classes. You can go to the website for more details. But we've got what? This is a cane? This is a kunda. Okay, a kunda. It, yes. So you hold it in your left hand. Okay. And you're going to go one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's like perfect. This? Yeah. Wow. This is great exercise as well. I think this would be a lot of fun to learn, but it's definitely fun to watch. Lots of activities happening. City of Bangra Festival happening now through June 8th. For more details, go to their website. What do you think, Jody and Rias? I think we need to get her on stage outside the art gallery. Between this dance and the hat dance the other day. My goodness, Dawn, they're putting you to work. Looking good. Well, you know, I'm learning all the moves, so I can't talk and do at the same time, apparently. Tell you what, I'll do weather. Let's do weather right now, and we'll get to talking about what's happening here again. Coming up in about four minutes. <laughs> We're going to watch the professionals do it. I can't believe how out of breath I am. This is very heavy-duty work here. That's all coming up next. She does a water bottle and a sweat towel. That's a full workout. You know what? I'm thinking that Riaz could cross-train with his Grand Fondo doing a little bonger dancing. I tell you what, Suki, this is a great way to stay in shape, but there's also historical significance. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, traditionally, Bhangra was performed while farmers were harvesting their crops. So a lot of the uh, props and the and the dance moves represent the harvest, and they were actually celebrating their harvest. So in celebration of their good crops, they would dance and sing songs. Yeah, and it's a very happy atmosphere in here for sure. So let's talk about some of these props. What do you have here? Right now, I have a carto, and it translates to a squirrel because traditionally the harvest took place during the spring and that's when they saw our squirrels. <laughs> Very cool, excellent. There's and, yeah, and this one is a kunda and this represents that when the farmers were harvesting the crops manually, they would use this to harvest and then now they use this kunda, they've decorated a bit more and they use it while they're dancing. Excellent, and what about this one? Because this is one that's very loud. Yeah, this one we call a sup and initially this was actually represents a clothesline. So there was a really famous Bhangra dancer 
where one day the clothesline fell down in front of him and he said, hey, this would be a great noisemaker when we dance and that's how we got this up. <laughs> that's fantastic. Now we're here at the Shani Punjab Arts Centre. So there are basically young people that have been learning how to dance and how long will they maybe train to be able to dance to this level, do you think? Uh, yeah, some of these dancers train for a year to two years. Um, they you know, practice every week and it's amazing because they perform, these particular dancers perform all over North America. Including uh, the City of Bangra Festival, by the way, that is happening now through June 8th. Jody and Rias, for more details and scheduling, you can go to the website, but there's a ton of fun, lots of different locations. Coming up in the segment just after 8.30, we're going to learn about some of the most popular events that you can attend as we get ready for the City of Bangra. Aren't these fabulous performers, though? Here all morning in Surrey at the Shani Punjab Centre, and we've seen the girls dance right now. Tell us a little bit about some of the great things that are going to be happening this weekend and through the 8th. For sure, we've got multiple events taking place. One to note is this Thursday at the Surrey Art Centre. We have an event called Repercussion, where you'll see the drums of the world come together and beat as one. So you see African drums, Cuban drums, Brazilian drums, as well as South Indian and North Indian drums. And I'd also like to highlight our downtown Pangara event on June 7th and 8th in the heart of downtown Vancouver. We'll have a stage set up at the Vancouver Art Gallery where people can enjoy 20 hours of free programming. And so this is the ninth annual. Tell us a little bit about some of the, uh, I guess, the way people react to this particular festival because you get everybody coming to this festival. We get everyone and one of the highlights is the performers. Well, this year we have a band from Finland uh, called Shava and they're a group of eight Finnish guys come together and they're going to come and sing uh, their Finnish folk songs but with Bhangra instruments. Uh, we've got singers from the UK, from India, as well as Bhangra teams from California, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, as well as New York. Sounds like a ton of fun. For more details and scheduling, and of course the locations, because there are several locations, you can go to the website coming up on your screen. But Riaz and Jody, it's been such a fun morning out here in Surrey. Big round of applause for the dancers who've been working real hard for us all morning long. And again, be sure to check out the City of Bangra Festival.